All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Eternal Darkness. He looks so sassy standing there. With Matt and Tammy. Hi. Uh, in case you guys didn't catch the uh, <laughs> catch the idea of the first part. I fucking Matt hate is scary. scared shitless. I hate scary games. All right. But you're so cute when you're scared. Should I go up to that observatory or should I actually go in here? First? Yeah, you could go in there. Uh, and I paused the game and it was like ready weapons and stuff. I was like, ready weapons? Why? Cause shit happens. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, fuck that door. See, I keep pressing A to do shit. <laughs> I like how the book is glowing. The sword is glowing too, honey. What sword? Look, look ahead. Walk straight. If you were paying attention to the, the thing instead of looking down. Oh, as soon as I grab this, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Just get some detail. Eclectic junk. Pick it up. Oh my god, I'm gonna start getting attacked. You know, those those pictures are pretty interesting on there too. The pictures on the wall are cute. They're gonna attack me. Mm -hmm. This is a bizarre drawing of a cyclopean city. On its immersive architecture, bathed in an unnatural fog, the details incredible. As Alex studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. Go to the other one, the <laughs> one that looks cooler. Oh. You know the one that's made of all the pillars of flesh. What? That? No, that's a church. Pillars of flesh to the right. This one? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> a diabolical drawing of a stack of human bodies. Each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have ex executed this? Okay. this drawing? It is psyche, though, right? Yes, it is psyche. All right. Though disturbing, it is. I don't know how to say that. It way. is meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convulsions of spines and ribs entwine in a mesmerizing sight. All right. Where you at, zombies? <laughs> I got a sword. Fuck with me. You know I got it. A small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, matching the etchings on the table and the walls. Illustration: The candles are unlit. They' about to be lit. If you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Faded. You're too scared to touch that book, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I can continue the story without touching the book. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Yeah. An aged page set inside a glass frame hangs on the wall. An insane scribbling covers the page. Incomprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some kind of tome, it could be deciphered. These people need Jesus. They need Jesus. <laughs> Funny you should say that. This Gothic cathedral is Jesus an enemy too? <laughs> yes. Final boss. This Gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brush stroke echoes the spikes of. I feel like a fucking child trying to read for the first time. Spikes of the architecture imbuing a violent, violent feeling as, as though, though the building, building itself is a harsh, harsh imposition, imposition of reality. reality. A, a grim, grim picture, picture indeed. indeed. Good job, Matthew. Oh, fucking bit. Oh! <laughs> like some kind of mask. His face is serene, but blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm just gonna examine everything before I touch the diet. This is like. This is like legit the plot to fucking cabin, fucking cabin in the woods. The dude touched... No, was it Cabin in the Woods? What was the other one when the dude touched that book? It was Cabin in the Woods, wasn't it? Because they read the book instead of touching the dice or the water or yeah, the seashell. They, the yeah, that was Cabin in the Woods. Touched the book. No, but it was the other one too. Uh, What was it? The one within the woods and that one dude with the glasses got really fucked up. Rain and blood at the end. Chainsaw. Chick gets raped by the tree. Is that Evil Dead? That's Evil Dead. Yeah. Remember the remember the one dude who got like really fucked up. He got the needle in his eye. And yeah. Shit? Elijah, <laughs> the out. second that you said rape tree, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, let's just read the fucking book. Watch it. Stop looking at the floor. I'm not looking at the floor. I'm looking at the timer. What the fuck? Oh, is that what got him? Got someone. Is this supposed to be pre-rendered? Had no knowledge of what was to come. Nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. He's talking you to you, not her. You will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. Die, die, die. Did he say, or you will perish? That once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. 
to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose. My ass has purpose. I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. Ancient Persia. A fool. 26 BC. Do you play like multiple people's lifetimes or some shit? Yes. What the fuck? Here is Queer Scandalist. Here is Consolantai. Facusatis Aquae Suma. Animus Eorum Prifana. Our hearts. The acid mood of the crown. The inget of the crowns. Come, Brahma, Imperial Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. The fuck happened? Made it easier for people. Do they wanted to give you the setting. Really no, but like what they say before he started like speaking English. Or his orders. His name is Centurion Augustus. Yeah, but like he says something in whatever language we're speaking, and then it just cut the English out of nowhere. Yeah. That's so weird. Where's now Jesus? remember, if you missed it, he said they're looking for an ancient treasure. Jesus. He's a great. What the fuck he's walking like that for? Ooh. He's walking Ooh. in the desert. Ooh. Would you come to a voice that's calling you? Uh. In the no. middle of the desert. No. I would not. At least I'm not in a creepy mansion anymore. <laughs> Is this where all this shit started? With this dude? Maybe. Run, nigga. What the fuck just happened? That. I was so confused. You got. Because you talk so much when you're scared, you miss the story. They're looking for an ancient treasure. I that, that brings much. you Wait, great on. power. I got that much. Can I attack him? Where's Jesus? Later chapter. Oh, do you get like tired? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? He's tired. They he's, he's winded already? What kind of soldier are you? Well, you're not really supposed to run in a horror game. Why That's the fuck not? That's what they're trying not? to stop you from doing. Why the fuck wouldn't you run in a horror game? Because the game fucks with you. It's like I have a fucking choice. You do have a choice. You can turn the game off and wuss out. Oh man, that thing's gonna come to life. Have at thee! Is that the treasure? I knew it. Got to do the whole like aim at their body and shit with the sword. Yes. I, okay. I don't understand the system. They'll they're gonna explain the system to you. Not honey. good enough. Oh! <laughs> fire! <laughs> the fire scared you. See how you can aim for their heads, their bodies. If you chop off their limbs, it becomes easier. A skeleton's bleeding. You have to kill him. Finish him. Beat. Otherwise, they come back. And it's very important. Whoa, where the fuck do you guys come from? <laughs> it's a party. I may mean, not have to aim. Get the fuck out of here. There's a reason why I say if you aim, it becomes easier because you could chop off specific limbs. This motherfucker really You tired. really want to start mastering that now. And you want to finish him. See, he doesn't have a head. He doesn't know what the heck to do, so he's just gonna keep flailing. Yeah, fall to the ground. I suck my Augustus dick. This Aww. motherfuckers literally just pop out of nowhere. Or those two do, at least. Ah! Uh. Pick it up! Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jesus! I won't let you down. Open the door. Jesus wasn't even born yet. This oh is my god! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, health meter. Oh. Oh no. 
You will yeah. die. die. I rem notice how that dude's bigger than the other one. Yeah. Okay. Um. No! Are you fucking kidding me? No, you're good. This game isn't that evil. So is the other dude like just dead? Or is he coming back? No, he's not coming back. I mean, this game is evil, but it's not that evil. Oh, so you get like all the three things in this? Mm-hmm. This part's actually not so bad. I actually fear the, uh, the mansion more. Yeah, no, you're gonna come to love and hate the temples. But it's so pretty now. Come on. Oh. He's still gonna be there. It's a party! See, this is why I aim for their heads. I understand the whole aiming for the head thing, but like when they're all rushing at me like that, I kind of... See, he'll try to get back up. Cause you didn't. Babe, I understand that. You you don't have to explain something to me multiple times. I understand. Get your ass back down, nigga. How's the skeleton bleed? I don't know. I like to imagine they're just shriveled up bodies. They are just shriveled up bodies. They've got flesh on them. Stab him while he's down. Okay, okay I guess I can. You could aim for the head when he's down. Turn around. Stop humping me. What the fuck? You know. Yeah, fuck you. He's oh. trying to give you a sexy dance. Is there a way I can block? No. Yeah, fuck you. You just gotta be good. Not a ladder. Oh. It's just chilling here. Oh. Yeah, fuck See? You. I knew you were scared of this game. So I kind of am. I'm dreading going back to that mansion. Yeah? And fucking Albert Wesker's gonna be there. Crash! <laughs> My name is Alex. Crash! My Alex? Crash! I'm not even a dude. Oh, See, look, he looked at it. It scared him! Wait, stand still? They'll look at things that you don't notice in the game. They'll start looking at a lot of things. Yeah, fall down, little bitch. Like what? What else? He looked well, at that. He's looking at the ladder. Yeah. Trust me. Later on, you'll want to notice what your character's looking at. Door? Is there a way I can change the camera? Or is it all fixed? It's all fixed. All fixed camera. Just Whoopie do. Oh, he's looking at something. Because somebody called his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, but don't you love fixed cameras? They don't let you see ahead. Alright, babe. I know I'm supposed to be playing this, but, like, I kind of want you to play it. Why? Only because it's inter it's interesting me. I'm interested, but at the same time, I don't know how to put it. You're scared. No, well, yeah, a little bit of that, but, like, at the same time, like, I have a feeling you do a better job than I would. Oh, hell yeah, I do a better job than you would. Yeah, I'm gonna load in my Mantarok file. Freak that, I worked hard at this game. So are you gonna start, like, a new game with that shit? Yeah. Or and what does that what does that do again? Um for you because you don't want to play again, each one represents something special. Mm. But in the game its attributes are basically um health, magic, psyche, and um the true being. Mantarok's the true one. Like true true? True true. Like protects everything in the game. Okay. So you have like an easy easy time playing the game with that or something? Or? You do, and you get, like, the true ending from it. But it's also, nice. while you become stronger, you also become weaker at the same time. Because you're vulnerable to everything. It's a weird setup. But, um... Uh, for you, I think it's Ch Chituga or something like that for the red one? I don't remember offhand. They'll tell you each of their names. Just stay away from Zalatov. The fuck is a Zalatov? Green one. Grab what does he the do? Block. What does he do? You won't enjoy the game at all if you play it with that why, one. Why, why, why? That'll deplete your psyche in a minute. You don't want that. You want your health to be your primary focus. Alright guys, we got the grind to block the purple one. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Eternal Sonata. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Are we gonna look? Yeah, we should play that. It's much better. Not Nothing. scary. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's all cutesy. Bye. Bye.